hi guys welcome to another video and so in today's video i'm going to be explaining how smartphone batteries charge how smartphone batteries charge let's get into the video right away now charging batteries is a question that lots of people have been asking for a long time how do i charge my batteries there are some people who have had um bad charging habits and their batteries went dead on them or got <gasps> swollen and obviously they want to know how to avoid making such mistakes so in today's video i'm going to talk about how batteries charge and how you should charge your battery like the um, commonly held misconceptions that most people hold about battery charging plugging in a charger into a battery doesn't necessarily um, introduce new current or new electrons into the battery you know, the battery basically most of the time is a closed environment like those of you who have seen my earlier video about how smartphone batteries work most batteries have, are made up of two sides two cells you have a positive side and you've got a negative side so when your battery is full you finish charging it and you've unplugged it when your battery is full most of the currents are on the anode side or in the anode side rather so as you use your phone current is going to leave the anode side go into your motherboard and then power the you know, components of your phone um, processor cameras and uh, display that's the screen the microphones etc and it will live there and then it will enter the positive side of the battery which is known as the cathode so whenever you are trying to charge your phone plugging in your charger simply um, changes the polarity of the battery and then it forces the current that left the anode and went to the cathode to return back to the anode uh, that's what charging does it doesn't add any new current because most of if you buy a battery for example you buy a 4000 milliamp hour battery if you so for those people who believe that plugging plugging a charger into a phone adds current it means that every time you plug your phone your battery's um, size is going to go up I don't know if you're getting the idea basically. So that's that. Now, batteries charge in several stages. I think that's um, something we should know. When a battery is very empty, it charges in one way. And when the battery is almost full, it charges in another way. There are three stages of uh, charging a battery, a smartphone battery, three stages. The first one is called the rapid phase. Now, usually this is the time when the anode or, or the anode side of the battery is empty. So therefore, since it is empty, current is going to travel from the cathode side over to the anode side at very high speeds because this side is empty. Think of it like when you want to fill water, for example, when you open the tap onto an empty uh, bucket, usually you're going to want to push it all the way to the end and just let the water fall. So that's how the rapid phase is like. It charges very, very fast. But as soon as your battery starts getting to 70, 80, 90, it now enters a phase known as slow charge. So when the battery has had enough, it's like when you, you know, you're filling a bucket and it's starting to get to the end. So usually you, you know, start to reduce the tap a little bit. So that's how it is. So from the rapid charge, the fast charge, it goes to stage two, which is the slow charge. The, the power or the voltage at which current is moving now from the cathode back to the anode becomes reduced. This reduction is usually to save um, the battery because obviously the battery is highly volatile and it's a fire hazard. Most of us are walking around with small bombs in our pockets because phones can, like batteries inside phones can literally explode if it's overheated or if there's like a, a mishap with current somewhere in there. So once the fast phase, which stops around 70, 80, once that 70, 80 is reached, the battery speed of charging tends to slow down. So it has now entered what is called the slow charging phase, which will then continue until the phone gets to around 95, 96, 97, and then it enters what is called trickle charge. In trickle charge, only like the way you know drops of water 
when the bucket is already filled and then you see those drops you know falling down from the tap tip 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 that's how your phone is now going to start charging like dropping the current little by little by little by little by little until the battery gets filled at 100 because if the anode side is already filled with current it's already filled and you keep pumping electrons into it at that kind of speed the battery is going to blow up it's going to explode so that's why um, the motherboard in your phone has a power IC, a charging IC that is supposed to get feedback from the battery and then regulate the charging process. So like I said earlier, I'm recapping out, there are three stages to battery charging. The first one is the rapid phase, when the battery is empty or when the battery is like really, really low, it's going to pump current into the battery very fast. And that's why you see that most phones, they charge pretty fast from around zero to around 70, 80 and then it starts to slow down into what is called the slow charging phase where the battery is still charging okay but it's not as fast as when it was around 20 or 30 or even 40. That's why some of us you see that on your phones it will take almost forever for 99 to touch 100. Yes, some of you may have noticed it will take almost forever. And so finally, um, how do you charge your battery? Most manufacturers, most tech people will tell you that you should keep your battery between 20%, that's above 20% now, and below 80% or around 80%. You should never really let it get to 100 most of the time. Now, this is the best way to ensure the elongation of the life of your battery but for those of us who live in the third world in nigeria here it's not always possible because power is an issue and not all of us have access to power generators or alternative sources of power so it's going to be quite hard to follow these um uh, specified um, charging guidelines but personally I do I follow them sometimes other times I don't what I would say is just you can charge it as high as you like but don't keep your phone charged at 100 for long this is something I have learned the hard way so yeah you can allow your phone go over 80 because it's in this part of the world it's not really practical because most of us watch youtubers from other parts of the world and you know their reality is actually kind of different from ours so what you should know is that yes you can let your phone get all the way up to 100 but don't keep it at 100 for too long too many people have this bad habit of your phone's already 100. I don't know where they're charging it to. I don't know if maybe they're expecting that their phone battery will miraculously turn to 101% on their phone. I don't really get it. But don't leave your phone at 100 for too long. Naturally, the phone is going to fall back down. So just as soon as it gets to 100, unplug it. Then also do not leave your phone um, charging overnight or don't leave it plugged in for too long because whether you like it or not, more current is going to be flowing into the anode side. And the anode side, you really don't want too much current on that part of the battery uh, so and the other side is you can let your battery fall below 20 but never let it go off by itself usually as soon as my battery gets to 10 percent 5 percent and i know i have no power source nearby i simply turn it off because it's going to go off anyway so what's the point so please 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 a lot of problems can happen from letting your battery die by itself it may not happen the first time it may not happen the second time it may not even happen the third time but consistently over time troubles will start to build in so please 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 do not let your batteries go off by itself that'll be it for this one my name is jeffrey and See you in the next one.